Good day everyone and welcome to the beginner's tutorial of Pirates Tides of Fortune by Polarium. So we're going to go through basically the first beginning steps of building up your stronghold in this game. Um, so essentially the game's going to start you off and it's going to it's going to do some quick beginner's quests and it's going to kind of really hold your hand and take you through the various steps with this as you can see on the screen here there's a little arrow pointing at the different quests and whatnot and it tells you exactly what to do. So first off, we just made, um, we had a couple little interface quests where we made the screen big and whatnot. We skipped past those and we're going to go right into um, the building up, uh, building up your keep, uh, your quest. So the first one is uh, build the rum distillery. So the rum distillery, what put the jolly in the jolly roger? Rum. How does your crew stare death in the eye without flinching rum? What's cheaper than actually paying them? Rum. Build yourself a rum distillery to keep your crew three sheets of the wind so it's got a little little funny text there that explains what you're doing for the quest so this character will take you through to your different quests it's kind of the NPC character that's going to tell you what to do all right so let's build the rum distillery so the more rum distilleries you build and upgrade the more rum you can make you can build up to six rum distilleries so this is one of your first resource buildings and as you can see in this game, it's kind of like Stormfall, which is one of players' other games, where you can place your buildings where you want. So let's put the rum distillery just down here in the corner for now. And later on, I wouldn't worry about this too much because later on you can kind of move everything around. So it's not too important in the beginning. So each quest, as you can see, gives you a reward after you complete it. This is really nice because it helps your it helps you progress through the various quests and whatnot and kind of just speeds you through everything so that you don't have to go up and gather resources to build the next buildings or build the next troops in the beginning. Now later on you're you're gonna have to go out and look for these resources. It's not quite so easy. The beginning just tries to get you started and get you get you running right away. So next we're gonna build our lumber yard. So lumber is the next resource building that we're gonna build. And this is another vital resource. It's one of the three. Alright, so let's build the young lumber yard. Let's put the lumber yards just right over here. Alright, there we go. So it just takes a few seconds to build. It's very, very quick at the start. Later on, as you upgrade uh, building levels, uh, which is something you can do to get more and more production out of your buildings and higher yield, uh, it takes longer and longer. Sometimes it, it takes days towards the end, but that's way down the road, way down the road claim that reward. Next we're going to build the gold mine. So gold is your last resource that you need. And it's important for building buildings, building troops and whatnot. They need it for payment. Alright. Let's put the gold mine right over here. There we go. A couple more seconds for that to build. All right, so we just gained a level. So congratulations, level two. You gained 150 points of experience and reached a new level. So as we can see here, you get pearls and you get boost. So these are just some of the little rewards that you get for completing. So every time you level up, you're gonna get a reward, which is a nice little bonus. You get rewards from doing events in the game, attacking other players and whatnot too. So that's a nice just little added feature to help speed you along. The boost you can use on uh, making your troops build faster, you can use it on making your um, buildings build faster, so it's just nice to have those. Alright, claim that reward so we can do the next quest and we don't run out of resources. Next quest wants us to build the observatory. Alright, let's build the observatory right here so that we can look out and see Alright, so the observatory takes 15 seconds to build, so that will be done just in a few seconds here. Let's let that finish. Alright, that's complete. So let's go into the observatory. So the observatory is going to let you um, pick your different sketches and whatnot, which you're going to receive as you go down the, go down the line. And the sketches are basically, um, they're, they're what let you uh, learn new troop types, new building types, 
Um, and you're going to need these. You get these on basically one every 24 hours. So as you go, you'll get more and more of these. It takes a long time to go through the whole sketch chain, but you'll get there eventually. But in the beginning, they're very, very quick to upgrade, so it's nice. All right, so let's go into our first of our discoveries here, and it's going to be the Order of Battle. So the order batter, getting a crew of murderers and scallywags all pulling in the same direction is no easy piece of work. Discovering order of battle allows you to command and organize your troop by keeping a weather eye on your shipmates, hardies, and sworn enemies. This discovery will be unlocking the destruction of the pirate stronghold. So this is going to be so that we can uh, so that we can build our troops, the first types of troops. Let's claim the reward for that, which gave a nice amount of resources. Next, we're, it wants us to meet our tinker. So the Tinker is up here, and that's where who's going to show us our various sketches that we've done, and also uh, our different discoveries, so our research. So we just researched that last one there, as you've seen, and it tells us here in a notification. So up here, top here is your counselors. You have the Master of Arms, Merchant, Envoy, Tinker. They all tell you something different. As we just talked about the Tinker there, the Envoy is going to uh, talk about different things with your allies and whatnot. Master Arms is going to talk about uh, the different attacks you've done, the defenses you've done. It's going to give you reports on those. And the Merchant's going to tell you about uh, trades that you've done, resource trades. Let's delete that since we don't need it. And all these can be found at the very top of the middle of the screen here. You just click the different ones that you want to go see. And then you can move around. So now we're going to build that str Pirate Stronghold that we talked about a minute ago. All right, so this is our command center here, and it's gonna let us unlock various new buildings. This one takes a little bit longer to build. So as you can see here, you could use a boost. So the boost that we've been getting from various quests, you can use them in here. All right, Pirate Stronghold is done. Now, another interface quest. It wants us to go up and check out the Master of Arms, which we just talked about. So, Captain Anne O'Malley has sent us reinforcements. So, she's kind of like... She's the one that's been giving us the various quests, the NPC. She's also located at the very center of the map. She's kind of the main non-player character in the game. Kind of the leader of the realm. So, she sent us some Bonnie's Beauties. So, the Bonnie Beauties are your first basic defense type unit. There's offensive designated units and there's defensive designated units. This is going to be a first defensive unit. So she sent us 40 of those, so that's nice. They're going to be in our castle. She's also sent us seven buccaneers, which is the first type offensive unit. And as you can see, it shows various stats there, how much rum they consume, how much uh, defense they have against different types of unit types. There's four different unit types. So you kind of have to look at those and decide what you're going to use to defend or the best thing to do is use a mix of everything that you have. Next, it wants us to discover sword play. Discoveries here. So sword play is our next one. It'll take 10 seconds to do. And this is going to unlock marauders and also our tavern so that we can begin building our troops. So we unlocked our stronghold, which allowed us to unlock our tavern so that we can build troops. As you can see, it's pointing everywhere. It's telling me exactly where to go for the next quest. So that's really nice. There's no confusion in the beginning. You shouldn't get lost in the interface, which can kind of be daunting in the beginning because there is a lot of different steps. So let's just put our tavern right down here. 16 seconds. Let's just use one of our boost funds just to show you how it works. So you click your boost down at the bottom, it exceeds our time for this one, but now it's instantly done as soon as you click it. Use a one minute boost, which we got from leveling up and from doing quests. And you'll get a lot more of those as you go on. Alright, next we're going to hire our first marauder. So we're going to build our first troop type. So it wants us to go down to the tavern, which we can see mercenaries that are for. 
for hire. So there's three different types here. There's pirates, mercenaries, fleet, and armada. As you go through these tabs here, pirates are the most basic type. They're the cheapest and fastest to build also, so you must remember that. And then there's mercenaries, fleet, and armada. As you go down, these troops get stronger and stronger. They cost more also, and they take longer to build. But each of these four queues can be building troops at separate times without conflicting with each other. So as you get as you get later on in the game, you want to keep all these queues going 24-7 if you can. So let's build our first Marauder. He takes 15 seconds to build. And we can go in and look at this unit. So the Marauder, he, he basically is just a beginner standard type unit. Uh, he has 40 offense to start out. He has 12 defense against pirate types, 5 defense against mercenary types, fleet 5, and armada 5. So he's not very good to defend with. You never want to defend with this unit. He's only meant to attack other units. You want to hide these units uh, in your castle when you can. Alright, claim that reward. Next is just another interface quest, and it just wants us to check our mail. So as you can see at the top here, there's a little letter. There's a little letter system, and that lets you that lets you check your mail out. And um, right now, Captain O'Malley is sending us a letter, just telling us different things about the game. You're going to get updates through here, so you want to check this off, and you want to read these. Also, your friends and your allies can send you messages, and your teammates can send you messages too. And you can also send messages through that system as well. So it's basically an in-game emailing system. So it's good for keeping in communication with other people. Next, it wants us to discover another one, and it's going to be pistols this time. So this is going to let us build Bonnie's Beauties, which we got 40 of from Captain O'Malley earlier. And they're inside the castle now. And this will let us build our first type of defensive units at the tavern. So once that's complete, claim a reward as we go through. We're going to hire one of these beauties. So let's click the tavern and we're going to purchase one. It takes 15 seconds as well. So as you can see you can purchase one at a time or you can spend a lot of your resources here, slide the bar left and right and you can build as many units as you want as you can afford that is. So as you go on you'll get more and more of these. Let's claim that reward. So that about wraps up the beginner's tutorial for Pirates Tides of Fortune by Blaren. Uh, as you can see here, we built one of each of the resource type buildings, which is the Lumberyard, the Rum Distillery, and the Gold Mine. Now you can build you can build more of each of these resource type buildings, which is something that you're going to want to do as you go on throughout and you build up your stronghold. Also, you're going to want to level up these buildings so that you increase the production of it. We talked about the different types of resources. We talked about the beginning unit types, which are the defensive and offensive unit types. You're going to want to keep those queues, building those units going 24-7 if you can. Now, to do this, you're going to start to run out of resources as you go on because the beginner requests kind of provide you everything you need. But once those are complete, you're going to want to go out to the map. You're going to want to go out and raid your neighbors for resources. It's going to be the best, most efficient way to gather resources. Now, be careful who you attack because these people can retaliate. But this is uh, these are these are more um, something that we talk about later on in a more advanced guide, which we're going to be coming out with. I hope that you enjoyed this, and thank you very much for watching. I